Hi, I'm Braxton Scott, and I'm a junior dragster driver for Wright Trailers. Hi, I'm Riley Scott, and I also drive for Wright Trailers. And I'm John Ford, 16-time Funny Car Champion. I drive the Peach Chevrolet, and uh, loving life right now. All right, so we're going to start off with some kind of general questions for John right here. And the first one is going to be, what is your favorite racetrack and why? Well, I'm sitting here in Gainesville, so let's just start Gainesville because it's the opening of the season and the weather's always beautiful in Florida. Great answer. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Uh, yeah, growing up with uh, five brothers and sisters, and they all took care of me. And uh, just, uh, uh, you know, your youth is the greatest part of your life. Like you two kids are living it now, and mom and dad getting you out there and your junior dragsters racing, that's pretty exciting. Awesome. All right, and have you had any other jobs outside of racing? Did I have what? Have you had any other jobs outside of racing? Yeah, I've done a lot of things. I sold shoes at Kenny's Shoes. Uh, I was a truck driver. I was a Teamster, local 208. I've done a little bit of car salesman. I've done a little bit of everything, but drag racing is what I really do love. It allows me to be out here. My grandkids, they race uh, junior dragsters at uh, Autumn, and she's moving up now a category, Jacob and Noah. But, and you know how they get their cars? You know how they get them to the racetrack? Uh, right trailers. <laughs> That's, That's how. So after a crash, you know, how do you bounce back and get back into the car? Like that must take a lot of courage. Well, nobody likes a crash, but the first thing you do is you get with your team and you get with your engineers back at Indy and we figure out why the car had the problem that it had. Was it motor related? Was it chassis? Was it the driver? Getting it out of the groove and running into a wall. Uh, but it's what we do. It's a living. Don't ever want to get hurt. But uh, these cars are really safe and the NHRA rules that they make really safe. All right, so now we're going to ask John some rapid fire questions. So uh, beach or mountains? Uh, I'm a beach guy. I don't like the snow. Cat or dog? I love them both, but uh, I got cats. All right, what's your favorite food? Um, I'm a peanut butter freak. That's what I love. What's your favorite color? Uh, red. And uh, how many NHRA championships have you won? Uh, 16. And final question, how many Wallies have you won? I think 155, 155. But remember, no matter how good you think you are, it's not one person, it's a team. And the crew chiefs uh, over the years and, and, and all of uh, the teams, uh, they put me here. So I give them all the credit. Well, first thing I wanna say is, listen to mom and dad, most important. And if your mom and dad hire you a crew chief, listen to him. But stay in school, stay off drugs, okay? Get a, a good education because the world's changed. I'm still trying to figure out on my phone how to find the racetrack on the map. Okay, technology has passed me by. So what I'm saying is uh, get an education, but don't do racing unless you love it. You know what I mean? Because what it all looks on TV, how great it is, it's a lot of work. We live it seven days a week. and. Uh, you both, uh, if, if you want it, you can have a great future. You can both be champions here in NHRA drag racing. So that'll conclude our interview. Um, thank you, John, for answering our questions, and we'll see you on the next episode of Junior Talk. Hey, if you got to get your junior dragsters to the race, get them there on right trailers.